Traditionally, Nadam is a time for the three manly sports, wrestling, archery and horse racing. But this year, it's too windy for archery here in Khojiat. For many, it's the horse racing that is the main attraction. The jockeys are mere boys, some as young as five years old. At 11, Gan Bata Tsunin Punzong is an old pro. Like many others, he'll race in his socks for 17 miles. You don't want to hurt the horse by kicking it with shoes, he says. And shoes are heavy, and you might lose them on the way. The child riders sing encouragement to their mounts as they begin the two-hour trek to the starting line. Away from the crowds, race officials check each horse's teeth to confirm its age. On the way to the start line is a shamanistic cairn or a sacred heap of stones, which the jockeys circle three times. This is a prayer for a safe journey, an act of worship to the mountains and the sky. These races were started by the founder of the Mongol Empire, Genghis Khan, known here as Genghis Khan. They doubled as military exercises and a celebration of martial might. At the start line, the riders surge forward, yelling, their horses' hooves thundering across the grasslands. It's impossible not to think of the Mongol hordes bearing down. Trainers drive alongside, veering dangerously close to yell advice to their child jockeys. It's a half-hour gallop, full tilt to the finish. There, the town waits expectantly, whooping as the first riders approach. The finish is close, but first past the post is Ganbata in yellow. The winning horse gets a medal. Its trainers embrace. Jockey Ganbata gets the honor. These races are a test of bravery and stamina, a rite of passage for Mongolia's boys. There's the wordless terror of the tiny six-year-old racing for the first time, the bloodied face of one who fell off, and the winner's euphoria. But more than that, the Nadams are a unifying force for Mongolia, a distant echo of its past as the biggest land empire the world has ever seen.